All right, this is my uh, sprayer nozzle uh, injector for my oil furnace that uh, heats the shop during the winter. And it's time to get it cleaned up because it doesn't work anymore. And who knows, winter will be just around the corner, I'm sure. So I've already cracked the uh, jet loose. Basically, we're just going to pull it all apart clean it all out. So I'm going to do this video kind of in a high speed or sped up motion, maybe with some fancy music, something like that.
that's the end of that. That's how we do it. Um, basically just, uh, the easiest thing is brake cleaner <clears throat> and uh, compressed air and a Q-tip and a little piece of emery cloth. So these are the contacts, obviously, that make the spark. So you want to have, uh, you want to have it cleaned up here and here. Uh, everything cleaned up in there, in the jet. Um, a razor blade or box cutter with a fresh, like a fresh cutting edge on it uh, for the piece that I was, uh, that has the three little slits in it that you see me cleaning out. That's the best thing for that. Uh, this is the flame sensor. It's not really focusing in on that too well. Um, but it's basically just, it's a light sensor, more or less. Um, the outside of it's kind of crusty from the heat. Um, but it's good. And actually it wasn't too dirty. This is usually jet black, just like the outside. Um, as you can see, it's, uh, that's what it looks like. And normally after a few months, it'll go jet black. Uh, so I have to take it apart and clean it. So I think I did this like right before the springtime. Uh, that's why it wasn't actually too bad because it wasn't even working at all. If this isn't uh, clean, it will not run. Um, so that's that. So next part will be to install it again and then uh, burn some shit. So the reason why I'm doing this while the weather's still warm is because I have a whole bunch of oil to burn. Uh, and burning used engine oil absolutely plugs this thing up like mad. So what I do is I cut it with diesel fuel about 50-50 uh, and then just burn it, let the whole tank run out. Um, and then I'll take it all apart, do this all again, uh, and then put it back together. And then it'll just be uh, change the fuel filter on it because there's a regular like an automotive fuel filter on it. And uh, once that's done, uh, it'll all go back together and only get clean uh, fresh diesel fuel for pretty much the rest of the winter until it starts warming up a little bit, usually around uh, March, uh, and then I'll start uh, burning whatever oil I've accumulated over the winter, and then I'll pull it all apart, clean it, and there we go. <clears throat> Cheers and beers, guys.